Welcome, Achievers, to a very exciting look at Batman Gotham Knights. Just announced today, we're going to be taking a look. I, of course, have alongside me the Dark Knight himself, Alex. Oh, my goodness. I'm a Dark Knight? You're a Dark Knight, man. Yeah, yeah. I picture you right now. Black hoodie, black sweatpants, black sandals. How close am I? That just sounds like a heat stroke <laughs> coming. <laughs> no, I'm literally in shorts. Oh my god, yes. I, I'm I'm wearing actually it, it, this wasn't on purpose. I'm wearing Batman I guess you could call these pajama pants or whatever. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. And they have they have Batman on written on the left side? Is this yeah, mm -hmm. left side. It's very it's very nice, very comfortable. But well, enough about Batman shirt today. Oh, okay. I, actually, that makes sense because of what we're going to be talking about later. Or I have a Superman shirt. Sorry. I have a Superman Van Gogh shirt on. It looks dope. Nice. But enough about our apparel, Alex. We're going to be talking about Batman Gotham Knights. Let's take a look right Boy, now. Boy. This is, of course, more YouTube. This probably isn't going to be posted on any um, audio channels. But if it is, you can watch this. Just time us. I'll, I'll say when we start the video, you can time us and we'll kind of watch the video together. So... Alex, let's get mm -hmm. into it right now. In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the We're city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. There was smoke. Everyone now, is this continuing? Arkham now? That they've discovered I body believe body it's... We're still waiting. Continue the explosion at the end. I think it's continuing Arkham Knight in a very loose sense. National news an okay. explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. You're now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is This looks awesome. I'm dead. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure this is Red Hood. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. And this is where the hype begins, Alex. The suit up. God, this is awesome. Right? I wonder how big the world is. That's my... That's a big question for me, too.
that logo is sick. Mm -hmm. No one talks about them. Not a whisper word is said. For if you try to cross them, then the town strikes you dead. I'm gonna be straight up with everyone watching this right now. That is how you do a trailer, all right? That is how you do a trailer. That is a fantastic trailer. Alex, what's the first question that jumps into your mind watching this? Uh, like I just said, it is a sequel. Yeah, so I think it's very loose sequel. I think they're f following the well, events of Arkham, but they are obviously changing things, right? Yeah, like because we can I clearly like see. Died. Yeah, yeah, Jim did not die in the Arkham series. And Batman wouldn't have known about that if he yeah. did, in fact, die. Because, you know, how the events of Arkham ended with him blowing up the mansion and such. So, yeah, so wish, this yeah. is meant to, to follow it in a spiritual successor type way. And, of course, we can see here Batgirl standing. She, she does not stand. Now, it is curious. Alex pointed this out to me. There is a wheelchair here. Yeah. Which, why is there a wheelchair if she can stand? Could, is a good assuming... question. Maybe she did get paralyzed and she has some sort of back brace now. Implant. Yeah, maybe an implant. Maybe Batman made made her something to walk. Yeah. I don't know. It is very interesting that the wheelchair is there for a reason. And I mm -hmm. don't see there being a reason other than that. And, of course, like you said, Jim's dead. So we have no Jim Gordon and Batman's gone. Mm -hmm. Now, this gets me incredibly excited. Like this, oh, all this, all this area right here. And if you're an audio listener, I'm just going through quickly talking about what it is. So I think this map, look at this map, right? Yeah, this is only a sneak peek. I'm not even going to pretend like this is the real thing, but I'm sure this is close to what we're getting. This is a huge map. It looks like it looks huge. I believe this big tower here is Bell Reeve is what they said, I think, or Bell, Bell Rive. I, I, did, I didn't quite hear how he pronounced Reeve. it. Bell Reeve. Is it Bell Reeve? Okay. Yeah, I believe it's Bell Reeve. But it's the tower, so that's probably your base of operations. HQ, this is probably where you switch characters or mess with your loadout or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I did hear that this is a co-op experience. They did specify one to two. Okay. It'd be very interesting if they don't eventually get four people in there. I think it'd be weird if, if they don't. But it looks like, yeah, we have a kind of gadgets with certain people robin of having this green array of abilities and his giant stick where he beats people with which it looks now dope. i'm wondering if they're gonna go about the way like unity tried to do where hmm. it's the map and the world of like the actual story and everything mm -hmm. and you get, you can play everything together mm. so i thought you were gonna go with you because there's a bunch of different ways this can happen right Let's say I'm Batgirl, you come in as a Robin. Mm -hmm. Are you as a Robin coming into my back Batgirl world? Like and we do missions together or is there some sort of cross progression between us two? Like I do a mission, this gets you a mission. Um I yeah. think I think we should um let's let's wrap this up and then let's, f let's go to the actual gameplay so obviously let's just go over Nightwing of course looking dope and sick as all hell. Look at this. I mean come on. I mean, come on, Alex. And then my boy Red Hood. My boy Man, Red Hood. Not good. Ready to shoot someone in the face if he needs to. And then it looks like we get a clear from Crime Fighter to Vigilante. And then what is it from Vigilante to Heroes? It, that sounds like literally like a level progression, right? Yeah. Like like before you're level 10, you're like a little Crime Fighter. Then 10 mm -hmm. to 20 is like yeah, Vigilante. And then you're a hero. So like I'm sure there's something around that. Um you become a, a hero and then what really gets me excited is this you get bikes. some some sort of vehicular mechanic in the game that i can actually get a bike maybe i can customize it make it look cool I drive with you uh and patrol the nights and then he, he says tonight's now now alex i want to take a second look at how dope she looks right here are you kidding me right now Dude, look at I'm, this i'm loving it look at this if you oh. look at it though too 
the symbol, the way it is on the chest. It's a little different, right? Well, that and it looks very similar to the movie one. I know it does, they don't connect. Of course, right. But they, I wonder if they, they have the same... It is interesting that it is very ideas. similar. And it's this is a dope suit. I, I could gush about that all day. But let's jump in to the gameplay trailer that we have ready for you. Sorry if I just blinded everybody. Let's switch this real quick. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it looks awesome. All right. Now, let's get to the actual gameplay walkthrough. This is a little longer, so I might be pausing throughout um, for a, uh, and, and wait for a full playthrough. But we'll see how we feel throughout. Mm-hmm. pre-alpha yeah very yeah very i wouldn't say crazy early but this is pre-alpha so still early Are you content. surprised that it's uh, 2021 no i i saw that coming it, i i don't think they would have been like hey it's out in a few months like that seems crazy no, i mean i thought it would be 2022 oh really oh i mean yeah. honestly that's i i think that's still on the table it, it before we get into it that, that's a good thing to bring up i think that's still on the table they could very much push this i believe this could be summer to fall game right yeah i don't think this is early next year by any means they would have probably said that so i think this exactly. is either summer maybe june july or I september holidays. i i think it's most likely holiday now the only reason i say summer is because no, i believe not. arkham knight came out in june mm. and that's the only reason now that's rock steady that is technically different them but same publisher so you can kind of see trends and kind of make them so it could be a june july game but i could very much seeing it being holiday and then and let's not be coy about this very much could be a 2022 game if it gets pushed i could mm -hmm. clearly see that but but let's uh let's get back to this half of the whole team at wb games montreal i'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay elliot center is covered in ice and there's snow or so it could be holiday. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is. We're going to look at a short clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. Now, that, now that was pretty important, right? And I was yeah. literally about to pause it at literally as soon as you said that. Yeah. So we're halfway through Batgirl's storyline, Mr. Freeze's storyline. Sorry, Mr. Freeze's storyline, and you have about half of Batgirl's actual thing. Yeah. So you're telling me this is like relatively early. That's exciting. Yeah, cause, well, because we don't know when we get Mr. Freeze's storyline. So like, of course, we That's don't know point. if we can pick whoever we want at, uh, right off the bat, mm -hmm. or they kind of be like start us out with like Red Hood, and then we do his stuff, and then they change. Then you later on you can change it. Yeah, that that's going to be an important choice for them to make, right? Do we start off and we slowly unlock the people? Do we start off with Robin? We do his storyline, yeah. then we get Red Hood, then we do his story. Like, or is it, hey, I want to be Robin. Do his storyline. You finish his storyline. Okay, pick someone else to finish their storyline. Yeah. Or maybe you don't have to even do their storylines and you just be Robin. And you don't have to play anyone else. That that's I think that's a very good point to bring up. Like. That's a that's gonna be important to to actually talk about when the game comes out. It's like, is it gonna be kind of like a weird thing where you're like, oh, I kind of miss being Nightwing. I gotta be Batgirl for another eight hours, but I don't really like Batgirl. You know, things like that. I I think um, I think it's gonna be more of a pick and choose thing. Okay. I hope so, anyways. But um, also, it says Mr. Freeze's storyline. Yeah. I wonder how many villains they have. Yeah, yeah, no, they are being pretty clear. Like, yeah, Mr. Freeze. Like, like, period. So there's for sure going to be other people in this. Yeah. For sure. You know, Penguin, of course. Yeah, probably alive. probably easy. I'm sure Joker's probably here. I mean, that that would be the... Uh, again, this is like an Arkham-esque, but, like, they could make up a reason why. Or it could be another Joker, Harley. So, you know, they could make up any reason to put him in there. Mm -hmm. I think there's a chance that, that it's, like... I would like it not to be because we have Joker in so many things. So I would be fine with no Joker, but it's I wouldn't. Funny. I wouldn't hate the idea. It's funny that uh, where you pause it right now. Yeah. You see where the headlamps are pointing at? Yeah. So that's left? that's a good point. Right here right on here. the screen. Kind of looks like a Joker. Looks exactly like a Joker. That that's a good point. I wonder if I can. It, which is pretty funny because it's it was just, I think it's just a wing. Yeah, that oh, very right. much looks like a Joker. It, 
Yeah, it looks like maybe like there's uh, something on the wall. Yeah, that very much looks very Joker-esque, but yeah. it could be like a painting or something. You know, it could just it could be just lore too. Like it, it couldn't yeah. be it, it could not be important. But that is a good observation. It's very like interesting. We stopped here too. That that was that was, yeah. very, that was a good thing. So let's get back into this hype trailer. God, this bike. This looks sick, right? I mean, come on. All units at Elliott Center. Air support inbound. Oh. Just that jump too, because that tells me that tells me fluidity. Yes, right. I can just quickly jump off. Involves manipulating the weather to flash freeze the city. An important goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player co-op. Real quick note, I know this is like, of course there is, but that is proof that there are different costumes in the game. Robin is wearing a different costume, so is Batgirl. Just wanted to okay. quickly point that out. Cl clearly we'll have more suits, but just wanted to click, just in case I missed anybody. Robin's learned how to access the Justice League satellite for short-range teleportation. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool, that's a cool reason for that too. Yeah. And levels, well, very clearly so levels. Exist in this. Yep. I like that there's levels though. Like, like. All right, so that's this is clearly going to be level progression. Oh, for sure. Mm. And developed a few new. Bottom left corner looks like we have health and ability bar, most likely. Yep. yep. So she just used an ability right there. And it took three symbols also. Mm -hmm. I'll be curious if that if that weapon she's using is equipable or not. Like, is that just her thing, or is or can I use different sticks? The storm is getting worse. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. This doesn't look up to code. Now the Robin skin. Did that, what is that? Red Robin? Mm, I I think that's a very close representation of a uh, of what you would see in Red Robin um, a few years ago. But I but I probably it's probably meant to be more Robin. But I think it's pretty close to being just Red Robin because it has that cowl where yeah. where you like you pick it up. It's more like Batman's like you you pull it over your head. Uh, but yeah, it's very cowl. I, I love how it looks, honestly. Yeah. If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Hm. That's cool. A little interaction. Tours were still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. Very interesting they used the word build oh, there. With that part. Yeah. Does... Did they... Is this two players right now or one player and he just switched to a separate character? This is two players right now. Okay. This is, this so is cool. The other person's perspective. Yeah. I Yeah. So right. when, I've heard that... And we'll get into actual writings from wb montreal after this but i what i've read is it, you will start a mission it will be you and the uh uh computer will be controlling your your sidekick whoever you pick gotcha and you pick that for the mission and uh so so it's it I, it would be cool if you could switch i don't think they're doing that though that would yeah. be awesome i wish avengers would do that too but they don't do that either yeah <laughs> So only take a second. Ooh. Jesus. Oh, yes. I miss this so much. Mm. 
Mm. A little co-op move there. That was cool. What I really respect about the game too is the polish, and I'll get into that a little later. But like the actual environments look so good. Status. Yeah, they do. Countless dead, and the temperature's still falling. We Compared. need to stop this now. Glad he's looking good. Mm-hmm. Belfry wasn't kidding about this storm. Almost there. Going on there. The storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. Some people would say, you know, that. Anthem. <laughs> you cannot run from me. Look at that health bar. That health bar, first off, looks dope because it's like comic book panel. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. An important element of Gotham Knights is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace. So confronting a villain like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or at level 15. Interesting. And not just in terms of stats, but in the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring to bear. Oh, that's cool. And that was just a short peek at Gotham Knights. We're going to have more to show you in the future. All right. That is Gotham Knights, the gameplay walkthrough. That... Again, very, very good way of looking at the game, right? Dude, it looks awesome. I think one of the important things to bring up, he said, around yes. this point was build. The word build. So that very clearly sets the stage for what this game is. Like, the, you're going to be making adjustments to your overall character to buff certain things, a la Destiny, Avengers. It, yeah. You can go on. So, Alex, thoughts on the game? what you've seen so far what do you think oh dude i want it right now yeah me too me too 2021 <laughs> release date uh do you have any other thoughts on the game what um, are your what are your excited? initial impressions i'm really excited to know more about the court of owls because mm. i've never known much about them and i want good to comic read, run if, like, you, if you want to read it no for sure but i uh, i like what they're doing with this and i'm wondering if they're i'm just, or i'm assuming they're made of villain yeah, um, they'll probably be the main bad guy that you fight at the end. Yeah. But no, it's super exciting. Yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm ready to play this. I like where the actual gameplay looks, because I brought this up before, but the the polish is what I like. Look, like the environments right here. Just looking at, just pausing at anywhere and looking at the environment. Look how detailed, the roofing, the floor. Of course, this is a virtual slice. They want, they want it to look pretty. But it's a pretty I, alpha build, so I'm surprised it looks that good. It, it, and it, I, I'm so excited for the Avengers game that's coming out from Crystal. Yeah. That I cannot say the exact same thing about that Avengers game. At no <laughs> point can I pause the game and like, oh my god, look at the architecture. Like, no, I can't. That, that, that's not what that game is. But what I like about this is this seems like a very good blending of a single-player adventure that I want, but also incorporating some sort of co-op 
uh, games that I can enjoy as well. Mm-hmm. For instance, getting you in to play, uh, you know, I might need help with Mr. Freeze, or let's say I'm finding Penguin or Hush. Hey, you know, I'm getting my ass beat by this boss. I need to call Alex up. Alex joins in as his Red Hood or whatever, and we smack him down. And I'm excited about what the potential quote unquote builds that you can do. Like, can you like be more stealthy or like, do you have like specific abilities that incorporate you? Do we have ability trees? I assume we do. How does that work? Pretty cool because my build for like Batwoman could be completely different than yours. Yeah, yeah. I like I could have a if if all pans out well, I could have a gadget based a Batgirl, and you have maybe more of a a brawler based one. That would be that'd be cool. Very interested to see more of that. Uh, What I'm what excites me even more about this is like the potential of dlc like how how crazy are we getting with this game like can we add in a harley quinn can we get like bat signal um uh yeah the bat uh yeah his name's bat signal i'm pretty sure bat signal bat woman like you know actual bat woman uh or can we get damian wayne as a skin because i'm very i don't know if it doesn't look like he is but that this this isn't damian wayne right you talking about the Robin? Yeah, the Robin we have. I I feel like it is. It looks like him, but he does seem really old to to be that D- Damien Wayne. That's I, I'm trying to find that where we actually split to him for a second. Um, was, but but he looks old. But I hope it is the Damien Wayne one because we rarely see him in games um, mm-hmm. because he's so new. But I'm hoping we get like, hey, this is Damien Wayne. This is different because. We have Dick is Nightwing. Most likely, this is Todd, though. Uh, Jason, uh, Jason Todd. Well, Red Hood is Jason Todd. Or isn't sorry, it? not Jason Todd. I'm sorry. Um, I'm blanking on uh, Drake. Todd, uh, I forget his name. Something Drake, right? Oh yeah. I don't remember his name. Tim but th- Drake. Th- Tim Drake. Thank you. Jesus. That, that, yeah, that's probably Tim Drake. It's probably Tim Drake, he, and they even look like this looks very Red Robin. So most likely it's Tim Drake. But I hope we get a you know Damian Wayne skin or even him as a different playable character. Even though that's two Robins, that'd be kind of weird. Mm-hmm. But but what is what's do you have any other questions from the game, Alex? Like what what do you have any any other thoughts that you want to leave the audience with? That Batman's dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not dead. He'll probably come back at the end, I assume. But maybe he is. That'd be ballsy if they're like, no, he's dead. Like, you see his body or something. If anything, like, if he's not dead, he's probably hiding at uh, League of Assassins Mountain. Mmm. Like helpful. some Ray Shaw Ghoul shit? Yeah. Mmm. I respect that. That or, that, or he... Something had to do with the Court of Owls that made them... Be like, hey, you gotta fake your death. Yeah, or he he goes like, hey, I have to fake my death, or or these guys are gonna jump me or something. Yeah, I'm curious how they'll work in that court of owl stuff too, because that looked it dope. Is a town. And like, what is the central motivation? It looks like it's it's pretty straightforward. It's you're protecting Gotham. Gotham's overrun because Batman's gone, so you gotta clean it up. Yep. So that that's what it looks like. Now I did post something on Twitter that I found from someone I follow. I want to read it to you, Alex. So this is basically the breakdown of the game. Okay. I actually sent it to you in a tweet earlier today. I'm trying to find it. There we go. So here's the breakdown of the game and what details we have. So Warner Brothers Game in DC today announced Gotham Knights, a brand new open world third person action RPG video game in development from Warner Brothers Games Montreal. Gotham Knights features the Bat Family. As players step inside the roles of Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin, a new guard of trained DC superheroes who must rise up as the protectors of Gotham City in the wake of Batman's death. Introducing an original story set in the DC ba- DC's Batman universe, Gotham Knights offers a dynamic and interactive Gotham City where an exploding criminal element has swept through the streets. With the Belfry as their base of operations, this new era of heroes will solve mysteries that connect the darkest chapters in the city's histories and the most and must defeat notorious villains in epic confrontations. Players must save Gotham from a descent into chaos and reinvent themselves into their own version of the Dark Knight. Gotham Knights is playable either solo or as a two-player online cooperative experience and will be available in 2021 for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, the Xbox One family of devices including Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, and PC. 
So this is going to be cross-generational title. This will not be next-gen only, uh, clearly, 2021. All that sounds awesome. That does keep kind of hint near uh, the middle there. Dynamic and interactive Gotham City. Do you think we're seeing Monolith's tech in this game? Uh, what what do they call it? The Nemesis system? Do you think we'll see any variation of that here? Um, what, what do you mean? What the Nemesis that? system? If you remember in uh, Shadows of Mordor, you would fight the orcs and then oh. they would they would uh you you know go do you think that is some way back. worked into this because i think so i think we're getting yeah. some in some way the nemesis system might be used like let's say two two face has the gang and you have to fight his lieutenant for whatever reason to get this drop or whatever and so there's some sort of reworked nemesis system in here because Fun fact, the Nemesis system was originally made for a Batman game, but it just didn't work, so they put it into a Shadow of Mortal game. I'm surprised that that's the only game that has it. Yeah, no, that was going to be... I remember them touting that as, like, revolutionary tech. Like, it was going to be a huge thing in other games, and we've never seen that ever again. We saw Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, and then nothing. Yeah. And it's made for a Batman game, right? Like, you clearly can see that there's a Batman inspiration there. So I'm mm -hmm. excited. Now that about sums up what we want to discuss of the gotham knights thank you guys so much for joining us we of course are easy achievers we come to you every single friday on normally scheduled things uh unlike this this is of course special occasions we discuss every single thing happening in the week of gaming thank you for joining us if you like this again like comment subscribe share go over to patreon.com slash if you want to go the extra mile and support us financially you can use the Patreon DM services for any questions that you want to put on the show. Thank you guys for listening. We will see you in the next one. Head over to our YouTube channel if you want to catch the uh, Rocksteady Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Yep, that's what it's called. There we go. I, I was struggling. I was like, what is that full title? <laughs> Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We're going to be doing a reacts to that as well. So go head over there and watch it. Until then, go Chiefs! Go Chiefs.